So today we did a breakout EDU. And what that is, is it's kind of a reverse escape room where the students, they try, they're trying to break into these boxes, as you can see right here. Now there's a lot of locks, there's a lot of combinations, different things that you need to do to break in. Um, so that's what the challenge is all about. It feels like a quest for the kids. Um, they don't feel like they're in class. They come in and there's challenges and riddles and puzzles that they need to solve. Each one specifically geared towards a lock on their box. And the first team that unlocks all of these locks right here to get into the box wins. For me, I teach math. So right now we did a math-based breakout EDU that also involved some things like hieroglyphics. It was emoji-based. It was this whole theme that came together, um, not only to help me with my math, but also to help the kids work as a team. And that's something we're trying to push this year. They were able to, to communicate together, to convey ideas. They had to work together. Everyone had to contribute. Um, and at the end of the day, some groups broke out, some groups didn't. And that's what we like to see. I decided to use the middle school lounge, which is a great place to break classes into teams. We used four teams of about five, I think it was four or five students per team, designated the teams around the room. This was the space for one team. In this spot is where I put up the materials, where as you can see, there's things taped up on the wall, there's some clues on the ground, and then we have this table right here with a few extra materials, clues, a couple hint cards, and then of course, their box. I like to use whiteboards because I can use the papers over again, it's a little less printing, and they can use that to write down any important information. This breakout uh, centered specifically on the concept I was doing in math, which was inequalities. Now, the students had to do different things with the inequalities in order to break out of these locks here. For example, this lock has a lot of letters and directional symbols. Well, those would represent for me in this sense, which direction the inequality was facing, whether the solution was going to the positive, negative, up or down. Right here, they had to use some inequality language. The answer to this problem would be axis because we're dealing a little bit with the coordinate plane. Uh, right here, they had to solve an inequality puzzle, and that one right there, I had the key, and so at the end of the puzzle, it would be revealed that they would have to ask me for the key. And this one right here just had to do with the emoji theme, where um, they had to find the year that the emojis were, were created. And this one right here, this was my favorite box, because in here, they found the uh, black light that they could use, that they needed to use in order to solve some hidden keys that were on our inequality sheets. So as the facilitator to the game, uh, it's my role to keep everything running smoothly and it's hard not to help too much. You need to be a little bit hands off and let the kids struggle through the clues and the puzzles. Now they do have hint cards that they can use uh, which are very useful and sometimes if a, if a group is really struggling you can point them in the right direction. So for the students, I'm really looking for a lot of collaboration. For them, this might be the first time working in a big group like this and also with team members that they don't normally sit next to or normally talk to during the day. I would like for each of them to hopefully bring their unique skill to the table. Everyone's good at a little bit of something and I would like them to grow their confidence and be able to show that. We have these reflection cards also provided by Breakout EDU where we can talk about things, we can give shout outs to group members, um, things they did well, things they would improve on what it was like working with a group, who brought what to the table, and various things to make them feel better about working with people and maybe more open to in the future. This was my first breakout EDU and it was a little intimidating to start it uh, with the setup process and also the facilitating. What I feel much better about the next one that I'm gonna do, I feel like the, the setup will be a lot more streamlined. I also feel really good that other other teachers from a lot of different disciplines came and helped out either to observe or to actually help facilitate, which I think is a, uh, a, big, uh, a big positive for the first time doing it. I feel like maybe down the road I can do them on my own. What I really liked at the end of the day, only two out of my eight groups actually broke out of the box and they were super excited just to get that final lock off, open up the box. There was no real prize. The prize was the sense of accomplishment that they got. Um, everyone else was excited for them. The groups that did not get out of the box, there, nobody was upset. They all on the way out the door asked, when can I have another chance at the next one? So I was really encouraged about that. And it actually makes me think about when I should do my next breakout. Alrighty, 
Online, you'll see the, once you've logged into the breakout EDU website, you'll see these different subject packs. Now, you can take a little peruse through, see what they've got. What I've done, the first time that I did it, is I just typed in exactly what I was looking for, if they had anything about inequalities, and I found this. So I clicked on it, and it gives me this little feedback, or the little story page, where it tells me what's the theme, what is the standard here, that's very useful. From here, you just start exploring everything that's needed. You start exploring your lock combinations, your setup instructions. It gives you everything, including a video that will help you to set everything just the way that it's needed. Right here, this is a link to the game resources where if you click on this, it leads you to a shared Google Drive folder print out the things you need, or you sh can attach these to a USB and put them on in one of the boxes. And then the launch facilitation tool tells you exactly how to do it. So everything is needed. It's almost like a full lesson plan right here, ready to go. All you need to do is set it up. So I would encourage you, give it a shot. It's a little intimidating at first, but I'm so happy that I did it and I will definitely do it again.